Welcome to Guy in a Cube. We're going to look at how to create a trial tenant with Office 365 that can also be used with Power BI. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and we're going to walk through how to create a trial tenant with Office 365. I have questions uh, internally from folks that uh, are maybe not so familiar with this process. I want to kind of walk through this a little bit to answer any questions that you may have on that front, as well as uh, to help customers if they're just wanting to take a look at this to see if this is really something that they want to uh, jump into, this will help them or help you get into Office 365. Where I want to start is at office.com. And so I just went to office.com and it brought me to this page. And so we can do a few things here. One is uh, we can actually go through, there's a couple layers that you have to walk through to get to the trial that I want to create uh, for use with this. And so we're going to focus on the uh, Enterprise E3 SKU of Office 365 from a trial perspective. And let's go ahead and click through the layers here to get to that. And then I'll show you a quicker way to get there. So we're going to first click on See All Office Options. All right, and here we'll see the normal uh, home and personal stuff for most of the users. We want to go see uh, options for business. All right, and this takes us to another layer, and then we're going to click on uh, see plans and pricing. This should show us our business options. One of the things we'll see up top, um, so a couple things we can do here. One is on the left here, we can see all plans and pricing, so that'll show everything. Um, and then the other thing up top you'll see is uh, Office 365 Enterprise E3. Let's go ahead and click on that. And this is the page that we want to get to. So from this perspective, uh, we can. Uh, this is the E3 uh, SKU, and we can go ahead and click on Free Trial to begin that. So let me show you a faster way to get here that is doesn't. You don't have to click on all those options to get there. So let's just go to Bing. And all I have to do is click, type in Office E3. And when we do that, we'll see this first option here, Office 365 Enterprise E3. Go ahead and click on that. And takes us right to that same page. So much faster if we just search for it. Um, but if you don't want to search for it and go through just office.com, you can get there as well. So let's go ahead and do the free trial. So first thing we have to do is go ahead and sign up. So the email address that you put in here, so I put in my Microsoft.com address, this is not what the tenant's going to be. Um, and you can refer back to what is a tenant to get more information about that. This is just your contact information when you go to first sign up for it. This has nothing to do with what your actual login will be. Um, so make sure you put in an email address where you're going to get those email notifications for, you know, if you get blocked out, it'll use that as a backup email to help you reset those that, that information. So let's go ahead and hit next. And we're going to create our username. So this is what your login will end up being. And so we need to come up with a tenant name. That's what this your company piece is. So this tenant name uh, will be accompanied by dot on Microsoft.com to begin with. So let's just go ahead and we will go ahead and set up. going to do Saxton test tenant and we'll create a password here and we're going to hit next at this point I've got to prove who I am and this will end up sending me a text message all right and let me get my phone Alright, and we will say create. Alright, and this will take a minute or two to actually set up the tenant. Um, this will also send an email to whatever the original email address was that you did on step one. And if you ever forget where you are or this page closes and you don't know how to get back, you can just go back to portal.office.com. All right, so this says we are ready to go. Let's go and click. This will take us to the O365 portal. By default, the account that you did when on step two or step three within, within those steps, the account that we created, that account will be added as a global admin within this tenant. 
And so what we can see here is it's still setting up all of the items here, but we can go and click on admin and this will take us to the portal. So our tenant is created. It's going through and setting up some of the initial subscription items that are available. So the only user that's here is the initial user that was uh, created. You can see that. Okay, so from a Power BI perspective, what we want to do is we need to sign up first because this is a brand new tenant, so none of this this tenant hasn't really been registered yet with Power BI. So for the first time, we need to go through and actually uh, go through the sign up process to get that uh, hooked up correctly. Uh, the way you can verify this is if you go to billing and then licenses, we will not see a Power BI license listed here. We will only see the Office 365 E3. So let's go back up to dashboard and we will go to powerbi.com. And at this point, what we want to do is go ahead and sign up. So we're going to put in our work email address. So do a saxton at saxton test tenant dot on Microsoft dot com because we haven't associated any other domains and we'll say use it free and it will send us an email. So we're going to do a sign up. Say start. And then from there, we have our Power BI dashboard experience. So the other thing to be aware of is that you can add other subscriptions to the tenant. So if you come down to billing and subscriptions, you have the option of clicking on the plus next to new subscriptions. And you can add other things in here from a trial perspective just to try things out. So CRM has one, um, other services in there. You can go ahead and take a look at those. Um, and those will be uh, set up for you in here. So everything's based on subscriptions. If you do want to add those, go through that process. So, all right, hopefully this helps you get up and running and so that you can uh, give Power BI a try with a test tenant on, or a trial tenant on Office 365. Okay, so just to recap, we went through the process of setting up a trial tenant with Office 365. There are a couple different ways you can go there, either through office.com or you can go through uh, and just do a Bing search for Office E3, that'll get you there. And then once you set up that test tenant, then you can go to uh, powerbi.com and sign up with your uh, account that you're using or your email address that you have for that tenant. And then that will get you up and running with the Power BI dashboarding experience. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments about what we went through down in the comments below. Um, and then also, if this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, we'd love to, uh, I'd love to have you be part of the conversation and to uh, just uh, participate in what's going on. Um, every Tuesday, we're going to have stuff like this uh, where we're going to go through some techniques or uh, troubleshooting uh, mechanisms, uh, just walkthroughs of how things work. And then every Thursday, we're going to have some information roundup and just take a look at some of the uh, items that are going on in the community. So, all right. Thanks for watching.